Thank you. Back to IT Mate now. Hundreds of Indianapolis police cars are getting new cameras installed. It's an effort to enhance transparency and safety for officers and the community. IT Mate's Kat Sandoval takes a closer look at the new rollout. 700 IMPD vehicles are about to get a revamp. They're getting in-car cameras, like one of these. Fleet technicians will be installing 1,400 cameras. Each police car will be outfitted with two. The back camera will take a video of the back seats to capture passengers' actions. The front-facing camera will have the driver's view. Both our police officers and our community members must be held accountable for their actions if we are to guarantee the safety of everyone in Indianapolis. The new cameras along with the body cams already in use will cost taxpayers more than half a million dollars a year. We think this, the adding these will add value and, and context and information uh, for the public to make their decisions about uh, the officer's actions. IMPD says the cameras will always be on standby mode. Video recording can be activated manually by lights and sirens, a computer dispatch, or holster sensors. Footage is recorded in the back of the vehicle and can be accessed remotely. Once a camera is activated, it will include the previous 30 seconds. Will officers be able to turn those cameras off if they want to? Yeah, the officers have the ability to turn them off, but there's policies that, that dictate when and when they when they can and cannot take that, turn them off. IMPD says the new cameras are another digital witness. And I'm sure that in the future, uh, whether it's an officer-involved incident or some other incident involving our community, these cameras will provide invaluable evidence and perspective about what just what exactly happened. Chief Bailey also says the footage can also be used to train officers on how they can handle themselves in various situations. He says only 700 cars will have the new cameras for now, but if the program is successful, it could be expanded to the rest of the fleet. IMPD says they'll prioritize and outfit traffic and district cars because they have the most interaction with the community. Reporting in Indianapolis, I'm Kat Sandoval, WishTV, wishtv.com, or follow us on Facebook for updates.